Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to explain rotational velocity, or how to convert between the circumference and RPMs of a wheel and the linear distance it travels. First let's review some basics of circles. The circle has a diameter, d, which is the distance across a circle passing through the center, a radius, r, which is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. r is equal to one half of the diameter and pi is a constant. Pi is equal to 3.14 for all circles. It's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. So pi equals c over d. We can rearrange that formula to circumference equals pi times the diameter or 2 times pi times the radius, 2 pi r. So like I said, we're going to convert between the circumference of a wheel and its RPMs and the linear distance that it travels as it rolls forward. So let's solve a couple of sample problems and then we can explain as we go how to solve these. Problem number one, my bike has 26 inch wheels. How many times does the wheel rotate in a one mile ride? And problem number two, my bike has 700 millimeter wheels. How fast is the bike traveling if the wheel is rotating at 200 RPMs? So in these types of problems, you see that there are typically three important values. Wheel diameter. So we're going to calculate the circumference from the given diameter. Distance or velocity. It's important to keep these all in the same units for the whole problem. So any distance measures or velocity measures, we want to convert them to the same units. Rotations or rotational speed of the wheel. We're going to convert that to a linear distance or a linear speed. So let's look at problem number one. My bike has 26 inch wheels. How many times does a wheel rotate in a one mile ride? Now we can see we have two different distance measures, a mile and inch. So first tip is solve the entire problem in the same units. Let's use inches for this problem. We're given the diameter is 26.0 inches and the distance is one mile. So let's convert that one mile distance to inches. We know that there are 5,280 feet in a mile and if we multiply that by 12, number of inches per foot, we get 63,360 inches. So we travel a total of 63,360 inches. We have a 26 inch diameter. Now remember in a previous slide, I showed you some tips. We usually want to convert the diameter of the wheel to the circumference of the wheel, which is how far it travels in one rotation. Circumference is equal to pi times the diameter which gives us 81.679 inches. So that's a pretty easy multiplication problem to calculate the circumference of the wheel. Now we know the distance in inches and we know the circumference of the wheel in inches or how far it travels in one rotation. All we need to figure out is how many times the wheel has to rotate if it travels this far each rotation. So number of rotations is equal to the distance traveled divided by the distance the wheel travels in one rotation. So rotations equals distance over circumference, or 63,360 inches, divided by 81.679 inches. And that gives us 776 rotations. So that's a pretty simple problem. Let's look at problem number two. My bike has 700 millimeter wheels. How fast is the bike traveling if the wheel is rotating at 200 RPM? So again, some tips. Let's solve the entire problem in the same units. In this case, millimeters is going to get kind of tough because the millimeter is really small. So let's use centimeters. And we'll express RPMs as rotations per one minute. We're given a diameter of 70 centimeters. 700 millimeters equals 70.0 centimeters. We're given a rotational speed that is 200 rotations per one minute. So again, the first thing we want to do is calculate the circumference from the given diameter. And we do that by multiplying the diameter by pi, or 3.14. That gives us 219.905 centimeters for the circumference of the wheel. Next, we can calculate the speed as the circumference times the rotations per minute. So 219.905 centimeters is how far the wheel travels in one rotation, and it's doing 200 rotations per one minute. So if we multiply 200 rotations times the distance it travels in one rotation, we get 43,981 centimeters per one minute. That's our speed, but we might want to simplify that. So let's think of how we can convert this into a more normalized unit, kilometers per hour. We have centimeters per minute, and we want to change that into kilometers per hour. 
Well, first we want to cancel out those minutes and get an hour as a denominator. So if we put one hour on the denominator, we can put the equivalent of one hour, which is 60 minutes, on the numerator. This is equivalent to one over one, because both of these two are equal, right? 60 minutes equals one hour. So we're basically multiplying the top and the bottom of the equation by a fraction of 1 over 1. Except that our 1 over 1 is going to cancel out the minutes and give us hours on the bottom. Next, I don't know how many centimeters are in a kilometer, but I know there's 100 centimeters in 1 meter. And since I want to cancel out the centimeters, I'm going to put the 100 centimeters on the bottom and the 1 meter on the top. So now that I've converted this centimeters into meters, I have to convert meters to kilometers. And I know there's a thousand meters in one kilometer, so I can multiply that by one kilometer per 1,000 meters so that I can cancel out the meters by having a meters on the top and the bottom, and the one kilometer on the top, which is where I need it. So in the end, all of these units are going to cancel out meters, centimeters, minutes, and I'm going to be left with kilometers per hour. So I'll multiply all this out and simplify, and we get 26.4 kilometers per hour. That wraps up this video on rotational velocity. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.